for many years, there really hasn't been any place to earn much interest on our savings, but that has really changed over the past year, and that's what I'm thinking about. For a really long time, uh, you know, it hasn't made very much difference on our savings, whether we had money in checking accounts or savings or money markets or CDs maybe pay a little bit more interest. But that environment's really changed. And as we come up on the end of the year here, you know, it's always it's nice to look back on various things, you know, what we've accomplished, what's gone on during the year. And I was thinking about that idea right uh, right now with where savings accounts, what opportunities are out there. So I did a little bit of homework and I put together this uh, this chart here and. On the left-hand side, we're talking about U.S. government bonds, treasuries here, you know, the safest place in the world to put your money. And I highlighted the 10-year bond over there on the left. That, that's the number you see in the Wall Street Journal. That's, you know, that the 10-year treasury is at this. That's one of the benchmark rates. And uh, take a look at where we are here on that today in 2020, December 2022, almost 3.7%. And look right above that, that number from 2021 more than double, right? From less than one and a half to more than three and a half percent interest. It's really significant uh, increase in rates over the past year, some opportunities to, to actually earn some money on our savings. And look over on the right-hand side of that chart there on the very far right that I highlighted the one month T-bill, right? The one month treasury uh, at this week paying 3.9%. Look at that number from a year ago, right? 0 0.03, like literally almost nothing on that short term. And think of, think of those T-bills uh, as, as CDs sort of a thing, one month CD, three month, one year, right? Last year earning basically zero, this year, you know, pushing 4% on that. Really significant. Of course, we felt these, these rate increases at the grocery store, at the gas station, but it's also showing up on places where we can save money on, on things. And then take a look, so I put in three, three month and the one year as well. Again, look at that, a year ago, the one year, think of again, one year CD type of thing, paying a, a quarter of a percent this year, over four and a half at that same time, right? So there's some opportunities. What are the takeaways from this? Other than it's just interesting to look back at what's actually happened because of course we see the price of, of bread and the price of a gallon of gas pretty apparently in our regular lives. We don't really see these, uh, you know, savings rates in our regular lives. What's the takeaway on that though? One takeaway is pay attention to where your short-term money is, where your safe money used to not make very much difference. Checking, savings, money market, whatever, all getting about the same same rates of return. These days, the savings and money market accounts are going to be paying or should be paying higher amounts. Look at what we have in, on, uh, at the U.S. Treasury, right? These are backed by the government and we're paying, you know, three and a half and four and four and a half percent on, again, think of it like one year or less investment things, right? So a great place to look and making sure you're being smart with your money. The other thing I just wanted to point out is as you go from right to left on that graph 2021 you see those numbers go up you know only they're, they're short numbers but they go up from the right to the left on this graph that's that the so-called yield curve right the longer the treasury bill the higher the yield is look at what that looks like today right from the right hand side to the left hand side it actually goes flat and kind of goes down that's the so-called inverted yield curve that can be an indication that there's bad times in the stock market ahead of course I'm not going to predict that I don't know that it really holds water on that thing, but it is interesting. It's something that's out there to be aware of. You know, we've had a flat or inverted yield curve. What might that mean? So those are the things I'm thinking about today. As always, interested in knowing what you're thinking about. If you're watching this on YouTube, drop a comment in the comment box or shoot me an email directly. And as always, thanks for watching.